Hi, I'm Nikki, and I'm going to show you how using Tailwind communities can help you collaborate with groups of like-minded Pinterest creators and find and join groups in over 4,000 niches to reach new audiences and grow your visibility. To find Tailwind communities, look for it over here in the menu on the left-hand side. You might be asking yourself, what exactly is a Tailwind community? Well, a community is a group of like-minded marketers who help each other discover great new content, all while amplifying the reach of each other's content on Pinterest. Anyone can create a community, and communities are centered around individual topics ranging from something broad, like healthy recipes, to something specific, like Ireland travel tips for families. When you join a community related to your niche, you can expect to quickly find highly relevant content that you can share directly with your audience or use as an inspiration for your next blog topic. You can also expect to reach new, highly relevant audiences as people share your content to their Pinterest audiences. When you first start using Tailwind Communities for Pinterest, we'll help you find a relevant community that's full of pinners sharing content like yours. Let's take a quick look at this community that I'm in now. To the left, I can see the community name, its description, and the rules. The rules are different for every community, but they'll let you know things like the kind of content the community is looking for. Just below the community rules, you'll see some stats on how active your current community is and how much engagement you've received from your community members here. And just below that, you'll see every member of this community. You can even chat with everybody here by opening up Communities Chat. We'll talk more about these sections later, but I want to focus on what's most important first. This main area is where my community members are sharing their content about bloggers and creative infopreneurs. This feed is where your community members share their content, and it's where content that you submit will appear too. The most recent content is always going to be at the top, so you never have to waste time searching for something new. The very first thing I want to teach you is how to share somebody's content from communities. The first step to sharing somebody's content is finding something that my audience will love or that I want to save for later. And I think I've found one. This pin looks perfect for my branding board. First, I'll just click in here and select the board that I'm looking for. There we go. Now all I need to do is click Add to Queue and Tailwind will schedule this pin to be shared at an optimal time. That's it. It took almost no time at all. As you regularly look through your new community submissions, you can always skip images that just aren't a good fit. To do this, just hover over an image like this and click on the hide icon to skip over it. I like to do this so that I can zero out my community, just like I do with my personal email inbox. And I can always use a filter at the top of the page to see everything that I've skipped or shared to Pinterest. Nothing ever gets lost. You can submit images to a community from within Tailwind and from around the web. Pins will only become visible in communities after they've been shared on Pinterest first. If it's your first time sharing to communities, we'll remind you of that with a pop-up. First, I'll go to my drafts where I've got some images waiting. In here, I can add any of these to my communities by clicking these buttons and then clicking Add to Community. But what if you want to share your very best pins to a community to get them more exposure? Well, we've made that simple too. First, I'll go to my pin inspector. 
The pin inspector shows me some of my most successful pins ever. If you're not sure what to share to a new community that you've just joined, then the pin inspector is a great place to go. Some of your best content is waiting here. If your website is claimed on Pinterest, you can select the From My Website filter to filter out other people's pins that you've shared to Pinterest, so you see only content from your website. Now, look over here to the right. You'll see buttons under the Action column for each pin, and clicking the Add to Community button will bring up the same experience as before. Sharing your very best content is that easy. So once you've submitted content to a community, how do you know when other people have shared it? Let's go back to my community and look at the submitted images again. I'm sure you're asking yourself, hey, where's that image that you just shared to your community? Well, we move every piece of content that you submit to its own section. You can filter for them at the top in the Yours tab. Here, I can see all of the images I've submitted to this community. Here's the newest one I just submitted, and the rest are images that I submitted in the past. If you ever want to know exactly how many shares one of your submissions received, this is where you'd go. If you're ever curious to know how many shares you've gotten in total, don't bother trying to add all of these numbers up. We've already done the hard work for you. Over here on the left, we have some basic analytics both for the entire community and for you. Let's talk about what these numbers mean. They're important because they'll help you understand how hard your community is working for you. Let's start with the community overview, and I'll begin by explaining what a reshare is. Whenever somebody pins one of these submitted images to Pinterest, we call that a reshare. Every time you or another community member reshares a community image from this feed, the total number of reshares in the community overview on the left will increase. The repins number next to it is pretty simple too. Every time content from this community gets reshared to Pinterest, we'll keep count of the repins they receive on Pinterest. So, looking at this community, I can see that 483,000 pieces of content have been reshared to Pinterest, resulting in a total of 327,000 repins for pinners in this community. Not too bad. Just below the community overview, you can see your own stats as well. This shows you just how many times your submitted images have been reshared and how many times those reshares have been repinned on Pinterest. You'll notice another number here though, reach. Reach represents the number of people on Pinterest who potentially could have seen your pins. In this instance, I've received two reshares and potentially reached 6,000 people. So who exactly is putting all of this content into the community and doing all of the sharing? You'll see all of that just below the community stats here. In the members list, you'll find every single member of this community. I can scroll through the full list and look, here's me. Unlike everybody else, you'll notice that I have two numbers next to my name. The number on the left tells me how much content I've submitted to the community, while the number on the right tells me how much content I've reshared from my community members. For every other member of the community, I can see how many times they've submitted content to the community. Community owners and community admins can see something in the members list that nobody else can though. They can see both submission and share numbers for everybody in the list. Communities work best when people are both submitting content and sharing from others, so we've made it easy for owners and admins to make sure that everybody's doing their part to build a community where everyone benefits from high quality content and the ability to reach new audiences.
If you ever have a question for a community owner, you can identify them by this crown that appears next to their name. Just hover over it and start a chat. You can manage all of your chats by accessing Community Chat in the lower right corner here. By selecting Bloggers and Creative Infopreneurs, I could chat openly with the whole community and ask whatever I'd like. Let's say you're starting a new board for family road trips. This would be a great time to ask the community to share some of their best family road trip content. I can also scroll through my connections, which are people that I'm in a community with, and start a chat with any individual. The filter at the top makes it super easy to jump to a connection if I know their name too. Chat is great for establishing new connections with other community members. Get in there and ask a question about the community, talk about the latest social media news, or thank somebody for sharing your content. These new connections could lead to new partnerships, guest blog posts, and more, so don't be shy. Finally, if you ever have a new message, you'll see a red badge on the chat icon to alert you of that. Well, now that I've fully explored the bloggers and creative infopreneurs community, there's only one thing left to do. Find another community to join. Once you've seen how much easier it is to find content with communities and just how they can help you get exposure to new audiences, you'll want to join communities in every niche that's important to you. To do that, just click on Find a Community at the top. We've made finding new communities as easy as possible. Just think about something you create pins about and search for it here. And while you may find it useful to join a different community in each niche that you pin about, you may also want to join a couple of communities in a single niche to get more varied content from different community members in that niche. If you try something too specific and don't find the results you were hoping for, then you can either create a new community for that topic or try searching something a little more broad. I'm interested in joining a community about international travel, so I'll search for world travel. And there we go. It seems like I've got several communities to choose from. We've tried to make it easy to pick the best community for you. That's why you can see basic community information like the name, description, and the rules. You can also see how many members a community has, along with a share score. The share score gives you an idea of how actively this particular community submits and shares content. And remember, a bigger community doesn't always mean a better community. A small community that's full of content you love may be better than a big community that has more content that you've got to sift through. A small community also lets you get to know the members more closely too. But big communities that are full of activity can mean seemingly endless amounts of content. What's most important is that you find a relevant, active community where you can thrive alongside others. So consider these kinds of things when making your choice. We've tried to make the community selection process even easier by providing a preview functionality. Previewing a community lets you enter it temporarily so you can get a feel for exactly what it's like to be a member there. Once you think you've found the right community, you can join it immediately if it's a public, open community. If it's a private community, you'll need to request to join it. Just click this button and leave a few words about yourself and your business in the text box here. And don't worry, we'll include a link to your website and Pinterest account automatically. If the community admins think you're a good fit, then you'll get an email as soon as you've been accepted into the community. If you have trouble finding a community that fits one of the niches that you work in, you can create your own community too. 
Or if you have a small group of friends that use Tailwind, you may want to create an exclusive community for chatting and sharing content. Creating a community is easy too. Once you have an idea for one, click the Create Communities button here. I'll make a Pinterest marketing mastermind community for me and a few people I know. Once I've entered the name of the community, I'll set the category. The category makes it easier to find and search if I set my community visibility to public or request to join. Since this one's for a small group of people, I'll make it secret. Finally, I just need to add a description and rules. You can always edit all of this later, so don't worry if you think you might change your mind about anything here. And that's it. I've just created a community. As a community owner, I can also use this Invite New Members button. This is something that only community owners and admins can use. If you're in a community and you want a friend to join too, they'll need to search for the name of the community in Tailwind if you can't use the Invite button. Once you're in multiple communities, you'll also be able to switch between communities here at the top. We'll let you know if there's any new content since you last visited a community right here too. Look, it seems like somebody's already added some new content to Pinterest Marketing Mastermind in just the few minutes that we were away. Be sure to check back in on your community regularly. A healthy community is one where people are regularly submitting and resharing content. And not only that, Regularly engaging with your community doesn't just lead to immediate benefits. You're also building mutually beneficial relationships that can pay dividends for years to come. And now that you have all the right tools, go out there and grow your businesses together.